hey guys welcome back to the channel um today's video is a bit different we are starting with a new series on the channel called the psl review so this is a brand new video series where we take a look at the ins and outs of the EPSA Premiership and we also take a run through through all the games throughout the weekend. So without further ado, let's get into it. Um, in our first story, we kick off with Kaiser Chiefs. Amakosi are top with a win over Barocca. So Amakosi have made it two wins um, in four days by defeating Barocca FC in a 1-0 win in the EPSA Premiership. Um, over the weekend. Um, the only goal of the match came through Lebohong Manyama who scored it in the 49th minute. Um, Lebohong Manyama has scored his third goal of the season and he looks to be a midfielder that um, is in a lot of form and is really enjoying the creative role that he's been given by Ernst Mittendorp. But I don't know how Kaiser Chiefs keep pulling it off, keep getting a win or keep getting a goal um, instead of dropping points, but Barocca was the better team in this game, especially in the second half. Barocca really came out hungry. I think they hit the post um, two to three times, but Barocca really looked dangerous. But nonetheless, um, Ernst Mittendorp's men got all three points. Another side note um, during the game is that Tumelan Kune pulled up with a hamstring or um, thigh strain we are not really sure but it looked like either a hamstring or a groin strain it could be either of the two um but we know he'll he'll not be featuring on tuesday so daniel ekpe will step in for tumelan kune i hope the injury is not serious um but kaiser chiefs are also facing a number of injuries with george maluleka being definitely out for tuesday um samir nekovic got um received a knock I mean, his last game, um, a, a head wound, I think. Um, Reese Fosler is also definitely out. Tiantia is a unknown at this moment, plus Dumisani Zuma. So, Kaiser Chiefs are really facing a lot of injuries at the moment, but they keep grinding those points. They keep um, finding a way to win. So, big ups to Amakosi. They are top of the league, flying high, and um, we'll see how it goes. Okay, moving on to Orlando Pirates. Wow, guys. Um, if you are a Bucks fan, you really don't like how everything is going at Orlando Pirates. Um, Orlando Pirates scored three times um, against Cape Town City, but were held to a 3-3 draw. Cape Town City scored two goals in the first 10 minutes, guys. So it, it really shows the defensive frailties at Orlando Pirates. But... Uh, the Buccaneers fought back and took the lead 3-2, um, but um, Cape Town City came back with a goal in the last 15 minutes of the game, and Orlando Pirates would only get a draw from this. Um, Orlando Pirates, I think, in their last three games, have scored almost around seven goals, if I'm, if I'm not wrong, and they've con conceded um, a goal against Chipa. Four goals against Bidvest Vitz and three goals against um, Cape Town City in their last game. So a total of eight goals conceded. So this is a very bad sign for a new coach or for new coach Rolani Mukwena. But um, the Buccaneers have been struggling consistently under the new leadership of caretaker coach uh, Rolani Mukwena. The so Soweto Giants are 10th in the table. And they've only gotten eight points from the six games. And this is a really um, bad start for Rolani for his career at Orlando Pirates. Because, I mean, it's the beginning of the league and you're already in the 10th uh, position. But Orlando Pirates could climb back. But Rolani Mukwena has been reluctant to blame his player, players, insisting that um, the problem lies with the technical team. And he has to work with his technical team to come up with ways they can um, improve their defense um, and concede less goal. Because Orlando Pirates have already been knocked out of the Cap Champions League and MTN8. So they only have the league to focus on. But at least a shining star, the only bright thing at um, Orlando Pirates at the moment is the, the new striker that they bought from Bloemfontein Celtic, Mabasa. Oh my god, this guy has scored 
four goals in the last three games. So he's a big guy, pacey, and he knows how to finish. And he's really been on form. Um, but Orlando Pirates' biggest star, Tembi Kostiloc, hasn't really been playing to the levels we know that he can play to. I don't know if it's fatigue because he was with the South African team at the AFCON or... Or maybe it could be that Lodge is disgruntled because he didn't get his move abroad. So um, I'll be making another video on the whole Lodge situation. But we are really... This story is about the former Mama Lodi Sundowns and pride and joy of South African football. The crown in our jewel, Percy Tau. Um, the Bafana Bafana star has been rewarded by Club Bruges by being included in the match squad. Um, for Tuesday in the UEFA Champions League against Real Madrid. Um, Bruges will face the Spanish Giants um, at the Santiago Bernabeu. So as we speak, Pesitao is in Spain and Bruges are warming up or going through tactics, whatever. But we know Pesitao will be in the squad to face um, Real Madrid on Tuesday. Pesitao set up one of his teammates in their last weekend as Bruges won 5-0 uh, against KV Michelin and during the week Percy Tao came on, netted a goal and provided two assists to record um, Bruges a win in the Belgium Cup. So Percy Tao is in a rich vein of form and I know every South African is waiting with bated breath to see what our boy can do on the biggest stage against one of the biggest teams in the world um, but we are behind you and I know Percy Tao will not disappoint us. So guys Please like, comment, and let's discuss anything you want to see uh, included in the PSL review. Let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, guys.